Welcome to the week ahead for week 11, in which you can safely say soon. Three things to announce. Uh, first thing I should probably point out is that I've injured myself. Uh, of all the dumb things to have done is that that extended period of time off I had at the start of the year, I don't have as much mouse and keyboard match practice in my hands as I used to. So um, I simultaneously injured myself and I'm rehabbing myself at the moment, just in time for the marking. So please ignore the Darth Vader cosplay happening over here. Uh, second thing, this is the week in which the EPR is due and that is basically, I accepted when I designed the subject that you may probably want to prioritize your, oh god I've got to finish this assignment, and I assume that every other subject you've got that's got an end of semester exam has landed a task on you here as well, so kind of figure it's probably busy this week. So the on-demand lectures, the uh, this week's content is mobile marketing. It's a brief taster of what's out there. Uh, mobile is bigger than like the hour, two hours we spend on it this week. I'm also very conscious of the fact that generation gap issue here. I am a desktop user. I'm a computer-based operator. My mobile phone, I don't make calls with it, so at least I've got that side, but I barely use it uh, compared to people who, compared to a bunch of my friends who can write literal paragraphs um, on their, I you know, very much these short sentences. I'm not, it's not my strong point. So knowing that all the stuff on mobile is more as a manager of people who would know how to use mobile phones for marketing, here's what I would send you off to do. So we talk about those things. Live events this week, I am going to talk about some of the mobile phone stuff because A, I want to find out. I think it's really interesting that good odds you know better than I do. Particularly, anyone who's running TikTok or Instagram, hey, if you're available to come along and help an old man understand uh, how that platform has worked through the device for you, uh, please do. Tutorials, we are going to use, I've asked Alex to use the tutorials for focusing on uh, finalizing the e-performance review. Seminars, I am going to set time aside again to work through a couple of the elements related to the, uh, the mindset around the EPR. And this is one of the things, I really, I'm running training in technique as far more than I'm saying, come to my class and I will tell you if your assignment is right or not. Because <sighs> that kind of seems boring. What seems exciting is doing, doing the mindset. The, huh, this is how I can describe my activities in marketing language. Cool. Currently, we are doing co-creation. I am creating a video, you are consuming the video, but you are using the video as prompts to decide and determine what you're doing with your week. So when you act on decisions based on the information I provide to you, we are co-creating value, which is freaking awesome. All right, your to-do list for the week. Uh, obviously, finish the EPR. I will be available. Uh, I'm available over email. I'll open up a couple of consult windows on the Wednesday and the Thursday. Uh, just if it's the last, so we have standard consults Monday, Tuesday. I will open up bonus uh, Wednesday afternoon, Thursday afternoon. Let me know if you need additional consult times. Uh, but also there's the question on the Waddle page. We have our direct ask questions. We have the email capacity and you have the Waddle thread that you can post to. So there are ways in which you can reach out to me. Don't feel that you have to go and there are, I don't quite know what I'm doing with the EPR, but I'll just struggle through without any support. That's not how the course works and that's not optimal, so let's optimize it for you. Last thing on your tasks this week. All right, 149 unread posts. That was wonderful. Wait to log in and just be like, 
Sweet. So that was awesome. But I've noticed a little thing. And that is our threads are pretty short compared to last year. So there hasn't been as much. It's been a lot more originate. Uh, people posting original threads. And that's awesome. But getting that spark to go to a fire. That's the thing we're missing at the moment. I think uh, if I'm going to task you with anything for the last two weeks is see if you can keep the conversation going. Reconnect with each other in the threads. Follow up. Uh, I've got a lot of good lead strikers. I've got a lot of good people who are going to go first and post first. Get me to loop back around into the conversation and reconnect and follow up and put some weightiness into what's happening in that thread. That, I think, is a challenge, and that's a challenge I don't think we've risen to yet. So I would call that your task for the last two weeks. Uh, if you have originated a bunch of threads, go back to your thread. Go back to the content you started and engage in the conversations, create the conversations. Forums, um, for those of you who are currently going, oh my god, so much traffic. Yeah, that's what being a social media manager is like. So work in the great learning. But also, one of the things I want to cut off right from the outset is if you have a very utilitarian, I am here for the here to learn the thing that gives me the mark. If that's your approach, sweet, good on you. I don't mind it. I, I've done it myself. I've very much been a... I've run a few different styles, but if you're here to go, look, just tell me what I need to do to post the best, to get the best score, or to learn the thing, or to solve the assignment, you're going to find the forum really irritating. Because on the surface... You're going to look at it and go, oh, this is full of crap. Well, uh, I don't have to deal with this. Rather than looking at it on the depth level, which is, okay, if I'm going to work in the e-marketing space, I need to be able to create, host, and manage conversations. I need to be able to look at things and go, can I contribute here? Do I have a useful thing I can add? And if you find, by the end of semester, that the forum just irritated you beyond belief, Congratulations on a very good self-diagnostic that should go into your e-portfolio of you're not really cut out to be a social media manager. You're not enjoying that side. And it's great that we gave you a chance to find it here rather than when you just look on a job and a mortgage. So that's what this task is about. Finding out if this is something that you genuinely like and what you do well in it, and if you don't like it, to be able to go, oh, geez, I learnt that. Oh, hey. So you walk into a subject and you're like, yeah, all right. I can honestly say I uh, walked out of another number of subjects in my undergraduate time, including uh, I did criminal law. And I walked away from that and said, yeah, I don't think I want to be a prosecutor. But I sure as hell do not want to be a defense lawyer. So you learn. You learn by either saying, this is what I want to do, or this is what I don't want to do. So, hang in there, mates. We've got two weeks left to go on the forums. And so your task for this week is, if you haven't enjoyed the process, I understand, start unpacking that. If you looked at 149 unread messages and thought, oh, God, why? you got something to unpack and explore in your e-portfolio. If you looked at 149 unread messages and went, all right. Showtime! You might be me. But also, something else to unpack for the ePortfolio is what got you fired up and excited about that? Why? Understanding that. And then, how do I leverage that? How do I turn that? Geez, there's lots of stuff happening here. There's lots of interaction. How do I leverage that love of interaction and communication into my future projects? So, all up. It's... Uh, Finish the EPR, reply to people on the forums, show up at the uh, live events, and for those of you who are attending, see you on the seminars. For the rest of you, see you on the forums.